backwards. Good evening and welcome. <laughs> Hello. It's chatting over cards time. And the only announcement is this is the host code. This is one of the cards you get. And you can always find this at karentitus.com. And tomorrow is the All Good Cards Club. So we're meeting three times. You can still join us. We're going to have fun with um, background. So it's actually more of a technique class. And what I'm showing tonight is more technique cards. It was part of a technique swap that I participated in. So it's always fun. So I thought this just kind of ties right in. So in the All Good Card Club, so if you're a member, tomorrow, because it's technique, it's not the same like these are all the measurements to have everything. It's really like bring these kind of supplies and we're, we're going to play. So uh, it'll, it'll be fun. Creativity reigns. Yes. So I just have a few cards tonight because this is also a very busy week. We are heading Wednesday morning to Las Vegas for leadership. So there will be no live on Thursday. But if you're watching us, we will come on and show some things. And, you know, you can just kind of watch our time there. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to walk around with the camera on I'm, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Who knows what Tim's going <laughs> to <Tim's gonna> do. <laughs> so this is the faux shutter or fractured card. And I think this is really cool. This is Kathy Miller. And this one I was going to, um, is Jan Faring. And, you know, we did these and they've been so popular. So this is one that I've been doing for Christmas, which I just love. And I thought this is the pattern that we use mostly with this in the middle and this around. But I also think, look how cool this is because it's off-centered. Uh, and I know in the backport stampers, people were doing Ooh. all kinds of different things. I just love that you can take any idea and then just make it your own. And I just thought that's so cool with the words over there, words in there. Uh, and just a whole different look. I, this is such a great layout. So thanks. And thanks, you guys, that share. Uh, and it's nice if we'll be missed on Thursday. I thought I was trying to plan ahead and just have, but it wouldn't have been live anyway. And I thought I just have way too much going on. I thought you guys will understand. So and we need to go focus on that. This one, look how cool this is. Look at this is bleach. Now in the class we're doing tomorrow, we're doing um, backgrounds. But, you know, I could do 10 different, I could do a whole years long on just card backgrounds. So I'm trying to just do a deep dive and do a few things. I'm trying to just kind of figure out how we do this. But I thought, but is this a cool look? It is. And I do have a short video up about bleaching techniques, um, if anyone's interested. But one of the things I love about bleaching is that any paper you use, they all have a different look when you bleach. And I just think that it's kind of that greenish look. Do you see how it goes with that seafoam? just makes a really, really stunning card. And this is Kathy Morgan. And you can, you can give this to a kid because it's grape juice and to an adult because it's wine. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then we pause. We'll politely Tim. <laughs> Renee's wondering if you're ready for the fair, Tim. Oh, you are. Oh, when we I come am. home, then he's heading to the fair. I am. I am. I, I am. hear it's hot in Vegas, but they missed the brunt of the straw. I don't know. We have to catch up on everything going, going on around, but look at how pretty, pretty this card is. I, I like this. I'd be lost without you. Isn't that just gorgeous? I I've shown too. so many beautiful cards with this stamp set. We can weather this together. And this is um, Susie Woolliver. Ooh, this is. And so that's really a lovely inside. And here, what's interesting, you can see we have tone on tone and sponging. And look at a couple of the different uh, designs. So she's got those kind of waves and then those little ones in there too. So just on, and then sponging on the, the sails. So isn't that cool? And this is kind of a reference to Moby Dick in here. And Starbucks got their name from this book. Moby Dick? Yes. Yeah, Starbucks was a, uh, like a first, oh, oh, first captain or something. See, I didn't even realize that. Yes. How about that? Okay. Thanks. Oh, I have to come back and read the comments. I just, it's hard to multitask. And this is showing, let's see who this is first. We'll look. This is Margaret, Margaret. Bleat using the timeless arrangements. And, you know, I love this too. Do you see how this is showing, doing the negative? So when you do something like this, you're going to have what you pulled out is going to be one card. And then this is the negative Ooh. to use a second card. And isn't that just striking? Uh, that is uh, very cool too. This is one that I, 
I did. So sometimes I don't have mine in that pile to show, but I haven't done mine in. And this is done. If you remember when Hank and I were blowing bubbles, we did that whole bubbles class. Ooh, we made a whole good. bunch of backgrounds. And so I made these uh, for a swap. And I thought it was just kind of cool with the sea turtles in there. Cause I thought, what a fun background. You just kind of see it all and around bubbles. there. The turtles make bubbles. Now this is a stunning card from Chris Waddell. And let's see, alcohol with refill and masks. So this is very subtle. Can you see this was masked? But isn't that gorgeous? But there's a really soft background, but it's very soft done with the alcohol. And look at how gorgeous those flowers are. I think this is absolutely a beautiful card. What is masked? What do you mean, masked? Matt, when you hide something and you mask over it. So this, oh, this is a mask. Do you see that design? Yep. Um, you can color right through it. Oh. Do So it's a very, very soft background. Um, we're getting the extreme heat warning starting tomorrow. So it hasn't hit us quite yet. And tonight it's quite cool out, but this is a one day reprieve. This weekend was really, really hot. Uh, I know this weather all over is just kind of amazing here. Um, but is that just, and I just love her colors. I mean, I think this is just absolutely gorgeous. It is. Another gorgeous card. This is Becky Brunton. And Ooh, like this it. is, isn't this gorgeous? Look, she's got an embossed, she's using an embossed folder on vellum. So if you haven't done that before, look how pretty that is. Do you see how that kind of gives up that soft look? Ooh. And then this, all those little dots, she said, are from uh, the splattered ink using the blends. She's got all those little dots all over. And then she has some Wink of Stella. Uh, let's see if we can get that to show up, but it's really shiny on the tips of the wings. And again, I think that is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. The times of Card Club tomorrow are 10, 1, and 7, but you know you have the replays forever, and there's a lot of conversation and activity that'll go on for the next couple of weeks in there. Central daylight time. But that is gorgeous. And the, the, the gold rope. Yeah, all those little details. You know, yeah. the details just absolutely make this card and this is Jan Shore, and she's done the inside. This is the herringbone fold. Uh, I'm, I know I've done this. I don't know if I have a video on this or if we did this as part of a class, but do you see how all those are just strips? Isn't that cool? That is. So, so if there's anything you want to see again, always mention it because we'll either find the video or that, I'll make one. <laughs> is this just one piece of paper? One, two, three, four. But how many? No, one, two, three, four, five. And mm -hmm. they're all different, come from all different papers? It's all the same paper, yeah, but you yeah. see different parts of the paper being yeah. used. But how, isn't that fun? I like that. This next one, Kathy says 8 a.m. her time, LOL. We'll see if she's up or not. <laughs> but, you know, you can grab your cup of tea or coffee and just watch us and just join in. This is the stained Ooh. glass. This is one of the online exclusives. So this is coloring on vellum and you see the coloring is done on the back side and then on this side so nothing's gonna see it's all done on the back side and it looks very stained glass like is that really lovely these make beautiful Peace and joy this is cards angel. this is Susie wood and it opens on the side and it's the stained glass look and then i just love how she's just circled that with two circles so mm. that is beautiful so is this a lot of work no it's just coloring it's a lot of work if you don't like to color. Yeah. For those of us that like to color, that is not much work at so all. And she's got um, the Wink of Stella, too, on the, the wings. But and yeah, that's really gorgeous. With the colored pencil or ink? The or stamp and Blends. Stamp and blends. Okay. Yeah, on the back. And the, th the thing that's cool when you're doing it on the back, things get really hidden. You don't have to worry about going out of the lines or anything because it's all hidden and you're just seeing, you know, you're just seeing through. I mean, it's really very forgiving. So that is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, a bunch of you have it very smoky. Oh, yes. Washington, Idaho. So yeah, I'm, uh, we're going to settle in and watch the, watch the weather after this. Angela Waters. Um, and she did copper. So hers is using that new embossing folder that mm. it's not the folder. It's the die cut that does this kind of quilt pattern. And do you notice how she has got put copper around the edges there? and emboss that, that's really cool. So just on this middle one, so it really stands out. Very, very striking. So, wow, that is so cool. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I love that. I think these are really fun. Tonight's going to be short just because we have a few things to do. And packing doesn't come on the list till tomorrow mm. night. <laughs> it's getting all the other things done. <laughs> uh, Marilyn says on the back, she doesn't understand. It means you stamp on your vellum and then you really, really let it dry. I usually use, I use stays on and you can heat it or you can just let it dry, but you can use other, but you color it from the back and then what shows through. So instead of coloring it this way, um, we'll do that again sometime. If uh, you, you guys let me know what we want to do. I always have things planned, but it's good to have things planned ahead. Okay. This is another one done with blends and alcohol. And this is from Deg McCann. Uh, and do you see how this is just flowers in there? And then this is done on vellum. I think mm. I have a video on this too, or, or it might've been for class. I get so confused what I do for classes. <laughs> But just see how then this vellum is laid right on top too. Mm. And you guys know I've shown, I love to show many times how to attach vellum where you don't see it. You use a silicone mat. You squeeze some multipurpose glue out and you use any kind of a sponge. Sponge on the back. And then when it dries, it dries nice and flat. No mess. And you don't clear. see anything. And it dries clear. So that's the best tip for that. Yes, thank you, Donna. She probably said it in a simpler way. You color on the opposite side of the vellum that you stamped on. <laughs> okay, that, that's a very good short, accurate rendition. <laughs> she could be my copywriter <laughs> and how to say things in fewer words. <laughs> oh, no, this is good. Look how swirly this is. This is shaving cream. Jenna Roby, that's on my list to do with the grandkids sometime when we do a little video, but isn't that a cool, mm -hmm. cool background? So how does she do that? Does it just run like that? You make it like a marble cake. Remember we did that one? We did it Ooh. once a long time ago with the kids, but it would be time to do it again. And then you get your raw materials and then later you do something else with them. Um, oh, good. I love when you put ideas for Olga Cars Club too. And you know, we always get sidetracked. And so every class has a bunch of other tips in it because we're always showing tips and tricks. Um, Someone was just asking me how to refill the white ink pad. And I said, well, we're using it tomorrow. So we'll go over all that. It hadn't even been on my notes, but I thought, perfect. Because as you ask questions, we just we give get it right in. And this is Linda Pagel. And this is where, this is an embossing folder. And if you ink one side of the folder before you run it through, you get totally different looks. So see how that looks like? Yep. It's several colors there. So that is very cool. So it changes color because it's embossed. Yeah, Marilyn is saying, Karen, you talk very fast. Sometimes it's hard to follow. Huh, I've never, never. been told well, that in my whole life, Tim. That's the Tim. first time. Usually I'm trying to <laughs> speak up because I'm so pokey. <laughs> no, you're, I'm pokey. You're, you're always fast. But I appreciate you guys put up with me. Somebody told me they watch all my videos back on slow motion <laughs> so they can hear me. I must have a really deep voice. And she listens listens to any training that she does on fast speed. I do. I put double speed, you guys, when I'm listening to training. That so that's, and Tim can't stand okay. to hear from the other room. So see, I do everything fast. It's just. So is this all one green and then you run yeah, it through? Yeah, it's just a, one green inked on yeah. one side of the folder. Yeah. You put it through and it comes out like that. Wow. Isn't that cool? That is very cool. And then, yeah, Kathy said that's why she watches my videos and then replays them all making. But you know, the cool thing about that is we get through things quickly, but you can go back and slow down on the parts you care about and you can let the rest be there. <laughs> Pat says she hasn't done the shaving cream in ages. You know, I think that's what's fun about this. It's like all techniques come back again. Um, and I love being reminded of things. And when I come back and do things I've done before, I always have some new ideas to add to it. And I think we're all like that. So it's kind of sharing our creativity together. So I think that's all. We'll and then this is using Retiform, which is also on my list of things to do. But with the motorcycles, to see all that kind of blocky kind of look. And this is from Jan Rodrian. What? Okay. How does she get it? Does she Use like post-it notes and things. Oh, and then okay. you're, oh. this is going to tie into, it's not the technique we're using tomorrow, but it's going to tie into something I'm going to be explaining tomorrow. So, you know, we just <laughs> do all kinds of things. And I know tonight was sweet and short, but I just thought it'd be fun to share some techniques. And it was short and sweet. <laughs> and I just wanted to touch base before we leave for Vegas. We just appreciate you guys. Uh, no, shaving cream is just, you put shaving cream like in a cake pan or something. That's what we've done with the kids. And then you drop ink refills on it. Take a knife or spatula and you swirl it just like a marble cake. 
and then you put your paper into it. Um, I'm going to look for a couple of these techniques that I've done short videos on, and I will put add some links to that. But, um, just because, you know, if you're curious about any of those. But oh, our shirt colors do match, and we didn't plan this. Oh, he's got his Stampin' Ooh, Up shirt on. Ooh, we see, we're ready to go. So thanks, guys. We are looking forward to a few days away and learning lots of stuff. So I will be posting, I hope, as long as I can figure out my computer and everything to work there. But we just so appreciate you guys put up with us. We just love it. Um, so tomorrow we'll see you at 10, 1, and 7. And it's still not too late to join us. I better go in there and put the things that we're using. I'm going to be on that right now. Thanks, everyone, and good night. Good night. Um, I will. It'd be easiest to get me by messaging or, or by email. I'll still try to stay connected when I'm gone, but I only pick up phone messages at home, you know, probably once during the time. Otherwise, we'll be back on Sunday. Good night. Good night.